Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. The video before last that I did, I did a review on these pre-made wraps that I bought at the store. Well, it was one wrap, and I tried it, and it was awful. So, since then I've been thinking, man, I should uh, come up with my own wrap idea. So, uh, I've been thinking, and this morning's video I cooked a steak, and I thought, hey, steak would make a great wrap, and I uh, also cooked some potatoes to go with it in my toaster oven. And I thought steak, potatoes, and put a little cheese in there should make a pretty good wrap. So let's get started. This is what's left of the top round steak I cooked earlier. I'll put the link to that video in the description if you want to see how I cooked it. These are leftover potatoes I cooked earlier. I just uh, cut those up and put olive oil on them and some seasoning salt and cooked those in my toaster oven. And I uh, haven't got around to washing my grill yet, so you have to excuse the dirty grill. I have some tortillas to make my wraps with. This is the nasty wrap that I reviewed the other day. It was terrible. Don't ever buy those. <laughs> and I was digging through the fridge and I found this cheese. It's smoky bacon. And uh, this actually has real bacon and it doesn't say artificial flavors. It's real bacon, but probably better um, taste it before I put it in my wrap just to make sure it's good. Yeah, this is pretty good. It has actual chunks of bacon in it. It has pretty good flavor, so uh, I guess I'll put some of this bacon cheese in my wrap. So let me cut up some cheese and cut up some steak and we'll make a wrap. All right, let's see if we can put a wrap together here. Everything's cut up. This cheese is nice and soft. I like this cheese. It's a Jack cheese, Monterey Jack. So uh, I'm not quite sure how you roll a wrap. This will put everything kind of off to the side. Put a few potatoes in there. Okay. Put some meat in there. And I'm thinking I might I'll warm this up in my toaster oven and kind of melt the cheese. I think it'd be better that way. Probably wouldn't be bad, just cold, but. I think I'll try to melt the cheese. If I can get this to roll up, probably filled it too full. I don't know, we'll see. There we go, I think it worked. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm keeping the heat pretty low because I don't really want the tortilla to get crispy, I just want the cheese to melt, so I'm just going to do one for now and see how that works. Alright, let's take a look here. I can see that the cheese is melted on the end. Thing is pretty hot. Okay, let's get out of there. I wonder if the cheese in the middle melted. It melted on the ends, but I'm not sure about the middle. Looks kind of melted. Oh well, let's try a bite and see how it is. Oh heck yeah, this is really good. Doesn't even compare to that pre-made one I uh, <laughs> I sampled the other day in that uh, taste test. This is great. I think it would probably be pretty good cold, but it's really good um, heated up like this with the cheese all melted in there and the steak. Man, this is a winner. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time.